Hello, and welcome to another session of How to Improve Your Photos. My name is Paxton, and let's get started. The point of this is I am just articulating my logic about the decisions I make to make these photos more engaging, more interesting, easier to look at, easier to perceive. And that's the whole point of this. That's it. And anybody can follow along. I do not talk about anything theoretical. This is just a hands-on approach of how to improve your photos. Also, one other thing you should note, the overall message is less is more. Unlike your high school English teacher who was um, misguided in thinking that quantity is a value. Actually, there's no value in quantity. We want quality. And when photography, composition, less is always more. So with that, this one is a good photo. This is the Cubs game in Wrigley Field, Chicago. And actually the Cubs won, which is remarkable because you don't really go to the Cubs game to see them win. You go for the atmosphere and it's a great time. It is a fun time. And you do get to pay $12 for a crappy beer, which, you know, you can't do that everywhere in the world, but you can do it at Wrigley Field. Let's take a look at this photo. First of all, all this info down here, not needed. You would ask, Does this, is this part of the story? No. So we're going to crop it somewhere around there. We want to keep some of this guy's shirt, even though this is kind of boring, this is kind of boring. We're going to kind of crop it as much as we can without losing this guy's shirt. Because it is kind of cool. He's wearing a cup shirt and he's in the middle and he's directly looking up this way. On the top, there's nothing up here that's of interest, as you can see. And we like to line up the corners if we can. There's a line here. This guy has a line with his hat, really clear line there. So we like to do that. And then what's the story? The story is in the middle. That's the story, the field and the fans. One interesting thing to note, we have two elements in the, right, the field, right? And then we have the fans here and here. They're about the same size in the picture. There is some question in your mind of what to look at. So obviously the field is more prominent because it's brightly covered. But the point is, is that if you have all this stuff, all the fans out here too, it kind of begs the question, well, what's more important? What's the story? So in this photo, we are going to try and eliminate a lot of the fans because to me, the story is here. It's really the field and the fans interacting with it. And we don't need all the audience in there. And so one other thing, this is, uh, this is like, you're getting your money on this one. I'm, t I'm t telling a lot of stuff on this one. Uh, what was it? Talked about the expensive bear. Talked about the size proportion. What was it? Um, the heck was it? I don't know what it was, but it was really important. It was really good information. So you're out of luck on that one. So I'm going to pull this up from the bottom. I just want that guy's shirt. It's a cup shirt. It looks good. And but we, oh, that's what it was. There's always a trade off between losing good information and get rid of bad information. If I was to do this right here, see, I'm above at his neck because I don't want any of the backs of these people. That's just weird. And weirdness is interesting to look at. And we don't want that. The guy's neck is just popping out out of nowhere. That's just weird. We do accomplish the goal of getting rid of the backs of these other fans and the audience, but having this neck stick out like that is just kind of weird. So, so the question is, where do we crop it? I think probably right about as tightly as we could get it. Guy on the right and the left of this guy, there's, not, there's no good information there. We're going to leave it right about there. On the top, we're going to bring this down. We're lining up the corner with the angle on the right-hand side. I want to bring it to about here. I want this guy to terminate, the guy on the right to terminate that corner. Before I go to the left, I can just pull this down again to about there. On the left-hand side, we've got that little red there. I'm going to probably crop, crop it right about there. So we have this going into the field. We have a nice dark area here and a, kind of a dark area there. This is kind of cool. This guy's looking this way. This guy's looking this way. He's looking down, but unfortunately, this guy's looking the wrong way and this guy's looking the wrong way. It would have been great if they were all looking at what was going on. So on the left-hand side, we're just going to frame it about there. I'm going to see if I can pull this down just a little bit more because I want to line up that left corner with the glow because it kind of pulls in a line down to the top, top left. And I would say that was done right there. It's not exactly in the corner, but this is more in the corner. We have this guy looking there. This guy's looking down, but at least he's kind of looking that way. And we have this nice shape of all these guys framing the bottom of this photo. It's great. We've removed some of the fans. And so immediately what's interesting to me, what I discovered in this is that I... The first thing I do is I look at the field and I and I could see the players and what's going on. I think somebody just hit a home run. If you go here, there's so much more to look at. I don't actually, and the players are much smaller. I don't actually look at them right away. I'm looking all around. I'm looking at the Brian shirt. Because again, detail in the foreground is easy to gravitate to. And it's I could read it. And we're, our brain is trying to always trying to understand what's going on. So Brian, like it's a Cubs game. 
you might not know that, but at least you know it's a baseball game. So this image, there's less to look at, and the more prominent feature is the is this big green field and the players in it. Whereas here, I just feel that gets lost because the the actual players on the field are much smaller too. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, you kind of know what I'm going to say next is, you know, please like and subscribe as my livelihood depends upon it. Uh, I, you know what? I should throw my children in there. The livelihood of my children depends upon it. If you have any comments, suggestions, maybe you would crop it differently. I'd love to hear that. I'd love to hear how your style is different uh, and what your thoughts were on this. But keep it clean. This is a family show. With that, I will see you in the next video. Well, actually, I won't even see you in the next video. I won't even see you at all. You'll hear me in the next video is what is what I should say. But all right, enough of that.